What's up guys, Tip and Tara here from fit to travel and welcome to another episode of us traveling. <laughs> <laughs> so um, if you guys are new to the channel, um, we travel quite a bit. I mean, that's what we try to do. And today we are talking about our latest travels a couple months ago, which was in Antigua and Barbuda. You know, we only went to Antigua. Without Barbuda. <laughs> Without Barbuda, yeah. So today we're gonna bring to you our 10 best beaches that we visited, which Barbuda has three, <laughs> Antigua has 365 beaches. So one for every day of the year is what they call it. <laughs> if only we had enough time. Yeah. We did visit quite a, quite a few, but we um, only, visited i think 17 beaches 17 beaches so, yeah um we picked the ones that we liked to would want to go to um and so we're going to give you the 10 of our best um so this is just like a little map of where all the beaches are we'll kind of talk about them them as we go through and kind of describe where they all are so and this list is we're going to go counterclockwise Right. Yep. We're going to so, start at the top in Dickinson Bay. It's one of the most popular ones, and we're going to go counterclockwise so you guys can follow along. So the first one, obviously, is Dickinson Bay. This is one of the most popular ones because this is where the Sandals Resort is on. So this beach is very pretty, obviously, you can tell. Um, crystal blue water very calm um, and it has a long stretch of beach so you can like walk down and there's a couple of different hotels there's the buccaneer beach club there's antigua village um, all right there on the stretch um, but um, we didn't like it for us because it was just a little bit busier so mm -hmm. there's a lot of vendors around there's a lot of people because it is resort heavy and um, although the beach was really pretty we that's not really our style. So it was cool to check out, but it wasn't really somewhere that we wanted to hang out the rest of the day. Yeah, we went there earlier in the morning, what, like mm -hmm. 10 a.m., somewhere around there. And it wasn't quite that busy yet. So, but as we were sitting there, it started to get a lot busier. And, um, and you know, that's just not our style. You might be okay with that, but like it was, it was worth it to go check it out because the beach was just awesome. There wasn't too many rocks or anything, and the water was just insane. So we probably hung out there for like an hour or so. Yeah, it was really pretty, um, and it was a little bit um, weird, kind of, because you are right. kind of plopping <laughs> yourself right in front of, like, like we just plopped down in front of, plopped, <laughs> we just sat ourselves down, um, kind of right in front of where the Sandals Resort People Custom, are. customers are yeah. uh -huh. um so they have their chairs and everything and we you know we just took a sand blanket and you can do that there every beach is public in antigua so they technically can't tell you no um it just kind of feels a little bit weird to like be sitting right there in front of everyone else that like yeah. is paying for like a sandals resort or any resort because we've matter. we've stayed at secrets and sandals and all of those and generally where we've stayed it's always been private yeah. So it just, it felt weird because you're like, these people behind us are paying a boatload of money to have yeah. access to this beach, right? However, if you want to go to Sandals and you're looking for a nice beach, that's a, a great spot. That Sandals in Antigua is a great spot to have a really nice beach. It's easily walkable, like it's right there to like swim. So that's a great one to check out if you are looking for a Sandals resort. Yeah, and parking, I mean, we can talk about that a little bit. We rented a car. And parking was kind of sketch, I'd say a little bit. It was it was tough to find parking. We luckily somebody, some local was there and was like, you could park and double park behind we somebody. Park. If you want to come to Dickinson Bay, we just parked at um, Tony's Water Sports and Bar, I think. Gotta climb over. <laughs> you can't get it on his side, but there's a nice little parking, little restaurant bar type there, and then. You're right next to Sandals and all the other ones. There's like a beach um, bar, water sports thing right there. I think it's called Tony's or something. Um, 
that we actually ended up parking at. But yeah, we double parked and I mean, if there wasn't a worker there, we wouldn't have obviously done that. But um, a lot of the parking is for like Sandals employees and anybody who has a car that's staying there and that stuff too. So um, that is the only thing on some of these is parking can be a little bit questionable. Um, not in a bad way, just like you don't know where you can park. Um, and having a car is obviously very helpful because you can you can see more beaches also. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next beach is Runaway Beach, which is located on the West Coast. So we're coming down the West Coast. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's, it's um, pretty close to Dickinson Bay, actually. There's a few, I mean, there's, there's literally beaches every turn on the island. <laughs> I mean, this is just barely scratching the surface. So you just kind of keep going and run into another one. Um, so Runaway Beach is not that far from Dickinson Bay, but what we liked about Runaway Beach is it was really quiet. Um, however, I will say that they do, there's a, a bar there, Mystic Beach Bar, that we um, talked to the owner for a long time and we hung out there basically all day. Um, and it was, they have a collaboration with the cruise line. So when there's a cruise um, ship in there, they actually, you know, have them come as one of the excursions and they like can use the beach and the umbrellas and all that stuff. So we just happened to hit it on a day that there was no cruise ships. So we were basically, there was like us and maybe four <laughs> other people the whole time we were at that beach, um, which was great. It was really quiet. However, it could be totally different on a day that there's a lot of people yeah. for a cruise. So. Yeah, like Tara said, we, we went there and it was just completely empty. And then we were just like, what's going on? They were remodeling and doing some stuff to the, the bar slash restaurant. And we just sat there and we actually got to talk to the owner who mm -hmm. was from Jamaica. She was awesome. I can't think of her name right now. Um, we'll it drop written. it down below. Yeah, we have it written somewhere. Yeah, we have it written down somewhere. But she was awesome, and she was just so great. And then she, you know, we sat there and we drank. She actually gave us uh, an umbrella for free, and we just sat there and hung out. And you know, I actually didn't even want to leave because that beach, the way it was, it just was a beach that you would, you know, it'd be. I I feel like it was better than the Sandals Beach, mm -hmm. just sitting there. And but we had it basically to ourselves. Yeah, just to cover couple other um, couples there yeah it was also had like a nice long not as long of a stretch as Dickinson Bay but it you could walk along for a while and there, the waves weren't that bad um, it's a little bit less like known like everyone usually goes to Dickinson Bay also so yeah. that obviously helps too and uh, another um, pro tip that you might want to know is if you're driving you're driving down this road Mm -hmm. that is a long road where you're just like, where am I going? It seems kind of sketch, mm -hmm. but you just got to keep rolling. And then, um, and then you'll see it, you'll see the, the bar on the right and then you pull over and you just park wherever you want. But it was, uh, for a while there, I was just like, Tara, do you know, are you sure you know where we're going? Yeah. So it was, but, um, I mean, once you get there, it was, it was pretty cool. Well, and that's kind of how it is in Antigua with the beaches. You kind of have to be a little bit adventurous because not all of them are going to be labeled and not all of them like may not be correct on the map. So you can kind of kind of have an idea of where you're going, but you just kind of have to pull over and be like, okay, well, we're at one. Like, where are we at? Yeah. Um, and we did that a couple times and we were actually at a different beach than we thought we were at. <laughs> um, and we were for like the whole time we were there, we were calling one of the beaches a different name and it wasn't even that one. Um, just because there there are so many. So you just kind of pull over and you'll find some that you like and some that you don't. Yeah. All right. So the next beach is Yepton Beach. Yepton Beach is was one of our favorites only because it's very secluded. Mm -hmm. So this is actually the beach that our Airbnb was located on. And if you aren't staying in that Airbnb or anywhere around it, you probably won't even know that that beach yeah. is on Antigua because no one talks about it. Um, it's very secluded. There's no bars or restaurants or even a hotel right there. Um, and it's basically just a kind of like a little bay area that you can just walk down. And it 
was hardly anyone the whole time we were there. Um, yeah, we so, saw a couple of locals here and there coming down because, you know, we stayed there in, like, our room, which I'll pop up a, a picture or whatever, just looked over it. And then, but outside of that, like, we had the beach to ourselves almost the whole time because the Airbnb that we stayed at was a lot of locals stayed there. And then so they didn't really care to go down there much. And then on the other side was another beach, which we'll show you guys shortly. But, like, it was, I mean, for almost all the days that we were there, the water was pretty calm. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of days that the water was, you know, kind of wavy and because it, it was windy. But outside of that, it's a very awesome secluded beach. So if that's what you're looking for, you guys should look into that. Yeah, it's not as, um, you can kind of see in the picture, it's not as, like, turquoisey blue as like Dickinson Bay was you just saw but um it's it's still really pretty it's um, pretty and, and you it's can calm. see the the cruise ships coming in and out because it's kind of right where it's kind of right under St. John's technically so the cruise ships just kind of come in and out so that was cool you could hear them honking their horns as they were loading up and all that stuff um but it was a perfect little spot if you don't need any I mean obviously there's no like facilities so if you don't belong to like that Air or not staying at the airbnb it can be tough if there's like no restrooms or that kind of stuff um that is one of the downfalls but otherwise it's a, a great little hidden gym um, and then the next one is deep bay beach which is also very close to yepton deep bay is a little bit more popular because this is where the royalton hotel sits on um so again, there's not really any restaurants or bars there. Um, you have Royalton on like one side and then on the other side you have um, Fort Barrington, which is like a popular little fort that people can hike up and look out. Um, Deep Bay was great because we could walk there from our Airbnb. Um, it, it's a good little walk if yeah. you're trying to walk. Yeah. It's a... not, a, not necessarily like short, but it's 15 minutes. Um, beautiful blue waters that was also very like calm um, we were able to catch we did a um, catamaran tour one day and that's where they just picked you up from so they just come in to deep bay and pick you up and then take you out um, and then also one of the best places that we watch the sunset at so it's yeah. got a good little location there and if you drive there the road to get i mean all roads <laughs> in antigua will show you um are pretty bumpy and this one was was pretty bumpy to get down there and um yeah but it's not it's not like a crazy drive or anything and i mean it's it's kind of tucked away once you get there but it's just i mean it was absolutely gorgeous i feel like we we could have spent you know our whole time there and we would have been completely mm -hmm. happy it was yeah. and the sunset i mean if you look at this um picture right here the sunset there was amazing i think we saw two sunsets there and it was just it was just absolutely gorgeous yeah we spent a lot of time there too yeah and is that where when you go up to the the Fort? no no the um the place with the barbecue where we had the where you can see anyways cut it out oh surely heights surely heights no, no that's not what we were over surely heights sorry. is down by galleon okay. bay sorry i'm way off <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll get right. there yeah we'll get there Okay, um, the next one, number five, is Valley Church Bay. So this one, we say this for all of them, um, <laughs> is, is one of our favorites, obviously. It's on our list. Um, but it only one of our favorites because we got there late in the afternoon and a bunch of cruise passengers were About leaving. 3.30 or something like that, 3.34. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we pulled up and there was... I don't know, Lines 20 of... people waiting to get picked up to go back to the cruise ship. So it's, again, kind of hit or miss on some of these beaches on, like, if it's going to be really busy because of the cruise passengers. The ones on the West Coast are going to be a little bit busier because it's closer to the cruise port. Um, but getting there late in the day was perfect, and after that, we were basically the only ones on the beach. So... Yeah. Um, this water was spectacular. It was so, so nice. clear and so blue. Um, and it's kind of right close to a couple different hotels. So there's like 
Cocos Hotel and Coco Bay Hotel. So there's some really nice hotels right there. Um, and then there is a beach bar right there, the Ness Beach Bar. Um, there's jet skis. There was um, people renting jet skis right out in front. Um, but besides that, there was hardly anyone around. Yeah, no, we uh, basically had the beach to ourselves. And, you know, that was a benefit of not being on a cruise, right? And and having our own car was we were right there on the beach. And there's on this beach, there's a big dip off, just so you know. But, I mean, you can still see it once you get that on that big dip. But, like, honestly, it was one of my favorite ones. And we found that later, uh -huh. right, later in our on our trip. But, like, I, I would have gone back again for that. Um, it was just a super, super. It's a really, cool. it's a really pretty beach. It's yeah. definitely worth, worth going to. Especially when you went when we did. Yeah. With nobody there, so. All right, and then the next one, number six, is, I I'm gonna not pronounce this right, but. Fries. Fries. Fries, fries or fries, fries beach. Um, this was actually the first beach that we went to. Um, in Antigua. Um, so it was great. It was beautiful. It was very quiet. That was on a Sunday, I believe. Yeah, um, our first, yeah, full day there. Yep. And only issue that we had was it was really overcast and actually was kind of like drizzling off and on. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why you can kind of see in the pictures and the videos that like it just doesn't look quite as pretty as some of the other ones. Um, and I think had we gone there on a clearer day, like we would have really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, there's Dennis Beach Bar right there that does that has food and drinks, and then they have like umbrellas that you can rent, umbrellas and chairs that you can yeah. rent. Um, and it is still close to St. John's, so it can get busy. There's a couple of different like wooden umbrellas or whatever mm -hmm. right there that you can kind of hide under we kind of did that when it was raining a little bit um but again crystal blue water and then this one also was like i think a lot of locals go there because we when we were there we ran into maybe just a couple of tourists but like we saw a bunch of locals just pulling up and just like picnicking there and everything so it seems like it's you know it's a spot because there's a lot of room there so it seems like a spot that a lot of locals like to go to well, and this was the one I believe that they were doing like a birthday party or something. Is that, yeah. There was mm -hmm. like an um, closed restaurant type thing, or it wasn't open on Sundays or something, um, that they were using as like a birthday get together for their family. So that was starting to pick up as we were getting ready to leave. But this day we were on a strict, strict schedule to see all the beaches in one day. So. We wasn't didn't, my schedule. <laughs> we didn't spend that much time <laughs> here anyways. I mean, it was the weather wasn't that great either. Um, and then the next one, Crab Hill Beach, um, has some of the best water that we saw, I think, personally. Um, it's easy to get to, very quiet and peaceful. There's a couple popular beach bars right there, Jackie O's and OJ's Beach Bar. Um, so we actually ate there, again, this was the same day as the, the Fry's Day, or Freya's Day. We're at Valley Church Beach, I believe. Valley Church Beach, right outside of OJ's. <laughs> yep, we went to OJ's. Here's the water. changed in the day but um this one is really pretty it has like that lush greenery in the background um it was a little bit windy which made it a little bit wavy yeah. yeah um but otherwise again could be a really popular one especially with i know jackie o's is a very popular beach bar so if that gets busy in the afternoon i can definitely see this beach being really busy we 
were very shocked at like the beaches on the west coast with how popular they are we were very um surprised i was very surprised that they were not busy now that's part of it is there's so many beaches that they're not all going to get like overpopulated right like you can move on to the next one if there's a lot of people there but yeah no um yeah the jackie o's they was a really big spot and i could imagine and right there they had the rum bar or well, the rum whatever. beach bus yeah. or so yeah. it seemed like a very popular spot and then but we also some of these places we went there pretty early we did like we, yeah. yeah so it probably got more busy the as the day went on mm-hmm. but we were trying to hit as many beaches as possible so that one we could make this video <laughs> but um it was cool we hung out there i mean we hung out at every spot for probably an hour or so just to get a feel but this one it was just super be- super beautiful and we just got just were secluded so that's one of the best things and when we rank these generally the seclusion is is really high on our list yeah we like so. it to be a little bit less busy and i mean you know we like to be able to like go get some food if we want or that kind of stuff but we usually bring a cooler and have our own drinks and snacks like that's usually what we do and we have our own little sand towel so we don't really need a whole lot and then we just kind of hang out but if there's a lot of people and it's you're like it's not really relaxing so we move along if that's the case um, the next one we're heading, we're getting down more towards the south coast. So the next one is Pigeon Point Beach, um, and this one is close to the English Harbor, um, and this one was pretty pretty busy. Now again, this was on the same day. This was on a Sunday, so this was more in the afternoon time. It's probably around like two or three. Yeah. In the so afternoon. there's more people out. And you can kind of like get an idea of like, this is a, a pretty local, local beach, a lot of families and that kind of stuff. There's more trees. Um, there was even like a little um, hut, not hut, but like a little shelter type place that people could like picnic under and that yeah. kind of stuff. So um, also a very busy place. This is where Catherine's Cafe is, another popular restaurant on the beach. Um, and the water was really choppy when we were there. Yeah, the water was super choppy. I mean, we, we still enjoyed it, even though it was busy, because it was cool to, like, see there's, you know, that's where a lot of yachts and sailboats and everything was. Um, and it was, it was a cool scenery, and, like, you could space yourself out. So yeah. it's not, like, super crazy, but there was, a, there was quite a bit of people, a lot of kids. and Yeah, you can just see in the video, like, how many more people there are on the beach it's not i mean again it's not like overly (laughs) populated um but it's just a busier not our flavor busier beach yeah no but it was it was cool i liked it obviously (laughs) oh good old galleon beach galleon beach um was pretty it's very (laughs) it's another popular one has great snorkeling um, we actually saw a turtle just right off the like coast or shore. Um, it's a little bit rocky, so I do recommend to like wear water shoes or something like that because there are a lot of rocks right there in the shallow part. Um, and there's a lot of spots to go hiking right there. So this is at the south, which is close to Shirley Heights, which... This was our last stop of the day for the beaches, mm-hmm. and we were going to make our way to Shirley Heights. It's roughly about 3.30, somewhere around there. And, yeah. Uh, and so you see the video, which I'll pop up. Okay. <laughs> you won't believe it unless you saw it. We're on this beach, and we're probably only like a quarter mile from the entrance. And we have this rental car from our Airbnb. And I start driving, and then just hear this, don't. And then there's somebody behind us, and she was like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and um, our tire is completely gone. They took the lug nuts. They took just one tire. And now we're trying to get that up. And uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. We have no tire. This is extremely bizarre. And we have no beers. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. 
and the black. Yeah, they wanted the, they wanted the tire. Oh, nice. Damn. Damn. Stole the tire. They stole our tire off our car. <laughs> and the lug nuts. Nice. And the lug. <laughs> so when we came here, we yeah. saw the car and the, yeah. the jack. Yeah. It wasn't them. Right. <laughs> They brought their own jack. So they were driving out. Uh, they were driving out yeah. and they didn't even know that the tire was gone. Is it your car or is it my car? It's a rental. Stolen. It's a stolen tire. Stolen tire. Stolen tire. Oh, no way. Almost there. Oh, good luck. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, thank God you watched this video. Um... Basically, this was, you know, a one-off situation that happened. Like, we don't want anyone to think, like, it's super dangerous to be in Antigua. We don't want you to just, like, it was just a crazy thing. And, you know, I'll tell you about my experience of what happened. I was, I drove the, the entire time. time. Yeah. <laughs> I was the one driving. You got to drive on the left. And, you know, I'm comfortable. I'll do it. And then we were going from, uh, what was the last beach? Pigeon Point. Pigeon Point. And then, you know, there was somebody driving behind us, similar car to us. And then I was like, they were driving behind us for quite a while. And I was like, I feel like these people are like coming, you know, like I feel like I'm being followed. I, I get paranoid like that. Turned off on the turn to get to um, Galleon Beach. And then they, they kept going. And then we go and we park. And then we just go, we're hanging out for maybe 45 minutes. Yeah, we weren't down most. there that Yeah, long. and then Taro's just, you know, swimming with the turtles or whatever. Having a good old time. Yeah, and then we're just just hanging out. And then we go back, and then I start driving, like I showed in the video. And then things are just scraping. Taro's like, what's that? And I, I just thought, oh, I'm just off on the side of the road. They got bad roads I thought we there. had a flat tire. Yeah, or flat something. tire. And some, uh, some taxi or... Or whatnot. Tour guide lady. Tour guide lady. She's like, stop, stop, stop. And I'm just like, well, what do you mean stop? And it's like, you're just dragging. And then she had been sitting there and she saw somebody come up and do this. But she thought that they were just changing our tire for us. And apparently, nope, they were following us. They had the same type of car. And then they just jacked our tire up and then just took our tire. And they left us on the jack. So Unless, we yeah. drove off and kind of did a little thud. Yeah. And we just, yeah. you know, the roads are really bumpy, so we didn't really think anything of it. We didn't think someone just stole our whole tire. Yeah. Luckily, um, our Air, Airbnb guy was the guy that rented our car. He drove all the way up from the north coast down, which was like half an hour, 45 minutes. And um, he came, and then, and uh, I would have changed the tire, but we didn't, they took the lug nuts. So we had no lug nuts to put it. And so it was, quite the situation and you know at the time though we could just sit and laugh and like you know they didn't harm us there's nothing we didn't feel threatened at all i mean it just happens and then everyone that we told the story to like this doesn't happen here they would have said if it did so it's just it's not anything you need to be scared of yeah. i don't think so like and we just rubbed it up you know shrugged it off our shoulders not a big deal it it was a I mean, it, yeah, it was a really fluke situation, and it could have been so much worse. Like, we're lucky that we were, it was still light out. You know, we were lucky that our Airbnb host was able to come and help us. We still made it to Shirley Heights, on, like, before the sunset, you know. Um, it could have been a lot worse. It was just kind of crazy. That was, like, our first full day to, like, <laughs> have that kind of experience, and just someone just stole our tire. It was just crazy. Yeah, um, it happens. Yeah, nothing else to say about that, but... <laughs> I mean, like Tip said, they didn't harm us or they didn't try to, like, break in or anything, and yeah. they just needed a tire. So yeah, it is what it is. It can happen it. anywhere. Um, it was just crazy. has nothing to do with Galleon Beach. Galleon Beach yeah. is actually – everywhere in Antigua is actually really safe. Um, it just happened. There was a lot of cars there. We were Where parked we kind parked? of away yeah. from the beach because of all, like, the hiking spots right there. And the spot that we were parked at, it was, like – the tire that it took was like against a cliff yeah. and it was just right situation, right time Yeah, for them. For them, not for us. Yeah, not for us. But I mean, we moved on. Yeah. There's no, that's, that's happens with traveling. Yeah, just, it is yeah. what it is. But anyways, that's Galleon Beach. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Galleon it, Beach it, is yeah. so great. It's tough for us to put it on the list, but we loved it. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, for snorkeling, it's probably one of the best beaches. Um, and then our 10th, 
is Long Bay, which is all the way on the northeast side. So as you can tell, our west coast of Antigua is very heavy <laughs> with <laughs> our favorite beaches. That's because that's the Caribbean side and the east side is the Atlantic side. So Long Bay is still very pretty, very blue water. Um, there's a couple good beaches up there, are a couple good um, hotels up there, like the Veranda and Pineapple Club. Um, and there is great snorkeling. There's like a little bit of a reef right there. Um, it was a little bit busier than we would have liked. And it's obviously further than where we were staying. Anybody on the St. John side, it's all the way across the island and like up. So it's a good 45 minutes um, to get there. Um, but still very, very pretty, very different than the West Coast. Okay, it's our last day here. So we had to hit up some more beaches. This is Long Bay. Long Bay in the house. <laughs> up at the north east of the island. So we basically went all the way across the island today. What did you get, Mom? Corona and a Cuban cigar. From Cuba? From, yeah. A day real product Cuba. day, Cuba. <laughs> and then the last one that we want to talk about um it's not on our favorite list but we have to mention it because it's one that gets talked about a lot in the best beaches of antigua and that's half moon bay um we were not happy with half moon bay only because well it's far it's also on the east coast so you have to drive all the way across if you're coming from st john's um, so we did Half Moon Bay and Long Bay together in the same day. Um, and so it kind of is a half moon, so it's like a semicircle. Oh. And it was just very, it had a lot of seaweed and it was really rough and not really like swimmable when we were there. So we did go in May, April, we went in April. Um, and so the time of year could have something to do with that, but it just wasn't worth it for us. Um, we weren't going to hang out on the beach. We weren't going to be like snorkeling in the water. That was like, it was basically like surf waves when we, when we were there. So <laughs> yeah. we got out, we like saw what was happening and it wasn't even worth like trying to hang out for a little bit. So, um, that's just our opinion of Half Moon Bay. I know everyone talks about how pretty it is, but to us. With our own eyes, it was not worth a stop. Yeah. No, quite honestly, we were driving, and then it, it took a while to get there, and the roads were tough to get there, and I was like, oh, this beach better be good. Because, you know, sometimes I'm going to drive, and I'm like, and Tara, I don't know where we're going. I'm just driving. <laughs> and Tara's, and I'm just like, this better be worth it, because the, the road there to get there is is not easy, and you're, you're winding, and then we show up, and it's just beautiful as you're coming down the, the main road mm -hmm. and you see the cliff, like picturesque, just amazing. Um, like just going there to get the pictures from, um, you know, up here, like those pictures are amazing. And then when we got down there, it was literally just so rough and you know, it's probably had, had to do with the weather or whatnot, but we were there for maybe 10 minutes at most yeah. and then we left. And then it's, but we got recommended that by, you know, what Tara's research, but um, a bunch of locals say, you got to go there, you got to go see it. And it's, it's, it's worth seeing, but like the day that we we're there, it wasn't, it wasn't nice. Yeah. It, I mean, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We highly recommend um, renting a car. You know, I didn't want to rent a car at first because we, because you got to drive on the other side of the road and on the other side of the, the car. And that's something, you know, I wasn't comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But then once I looked into it and wanting to visit all the different beaches and we found out like that, that was the best way to do it. So that's, we definitely really highly recommend doing that. And, you know, you'll be able to see a lot more beaches if yeah. you do that. Definitely worth it. Yeah.
Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. We have a lot more Antigua videos to come, um, including a food tour and a catamaran cruise. And we have, um, we'll talk about all about how much we spent while we were in Antigua. Um, so if you liked this, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share. And um, if you have any questions on Antigua, leave a comment down below and um, we'll get back to you or make a video. Yeah, see you in the next video. See ya.